Okay, simulated engine failure. What is the first step in a simulated engine failure? Number five, six, five, the previous traffic uh, best glide speed? Best glide speed, good. Pitch for best glide speed. Just remember your ABCs when you have an engine failure. A is airspeed. Pitch for 60. So we're a little bit low, nose low. So we're going to pitch right up for 60. B is your best place to land. So let's find a place to land the airplane. You see anything below us? Yeah, oh, okay. there's oh, we've got fields. No yeah, don't exclude things that are behind you, left, right, or behind. So let's uh, let's assume that we're gonna land on the uh, got a field right down below us. So let's uh, assume we're gonna land straight ahead. So what would be your next steps as far as uh, remedying the uh, the failed engine? Which is terminated. It's going to be a fire for your chance. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, gas. Okay. So gas to the oh. fullest tank. Okay. Okay. Um, I would check mixture next time. Like, yeah, you check your mixture in this plane, that's not an option. A throttle would be full. Power okay. Right. Seven, traffic, right. 12 o'clock. Can we do that here? Uh, no, just, just keep okay. it like that. Just simulate the failure. Uh, let's see, I would check. Max, check magnetos, yep. Magnetos, uh, they're on, and that my master is on. Right. We want to also make sure your fuel pump is on. Another thing you could check is your carburetor heat. So, okay. so you, there's three things required for an engine to operate. Fuel, fire, and air. So we'll check the fuel. So, fullest tank, boost pump on, the fire is the mag. So we'll check the mag. Yeah, let's turn that on. Okay. Check left and right. The last thing is air. So we can pull the carburetor heat on. So, let's go ahead and for the sake of not descending too low, let's traffic go ahead and recover here. One seven, okay. traffic, 12 let's go ahead and add power. The direction, altitude indicates 5,700. Appears to be descending. R17, I have that traffic off my left uh, side. It looks like we got traffic. And, uh, the left side traffic should be high, about 6,000. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, maintain 5,500, and I think there was traffic a mile, 5, uh, coming on the left. Indicated. But, uh, so, there we go. Do you see them inside? Do you traffic oh, yeah. there? Uh -huh. So, yeah, the, thing, that's what, the first thing you're going to do with engine failure, pitch for your best glide airspeed. That's going to keep you in the air for the most amount of time. The second is find a, the best place to land and go straight for it. The last is go through your checklist items, fuel, fire, and air. So it's pretty simple in the sport cruiser. Fuel on the fullest tank, boost pump on, check the carburetor heat, check the magnetos. And then verify with the checklist. So let's pull that checklist out and let's see what it says for engine failure in flight. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, I'll get it here. I'll turn the, uh, the fuel over the left tank. Good call. And then fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. Check fuel pressure. Good. Okay. So let's see. We were looking for engine out. Engine failure. Yep, it'll be on the back side in red. Engine failure in flight. Number five, six, five, and, uh, Engine failure in flight. Airspeed 60 uh, knots. Uh-huh. Unlocate landing site. Fuel pump on. Fuel selector fullest tank. And throttle to idle. Right. And verify your engine from this start. Okay, so that's the, the procedure to troubleshoot the engine. What if the engine doesn't start? Then what do we do at that point? Any memory items that you can remember? Traffic's 12 o'clock. Uh, same direction now, indicating 5,800. We're looking at the emergency, the landing site. So, uh, I don't remember, there's a checklist, uh, yeah. acronym. Uh, I remember the radio call. It was an emergency. It's probably a, right. a mayday. A mayday, yep. Uh, the squawk, 7,700. Whoever we're talking to, we were talking yeah. about the fellow we had a problem with that the uh, frequency of the transponder to 7700. Correct. Reduce speed to 21. Uh, contact approach 125.7. Uh, aiming for the uh, for the landing site. Exactly. And then, are we going to want to keep everything on, electrical and all that? Three two one zero knots on the speed. See, we're going to want to not shut off the master until we've set ourselves up for landing configuration. Because right. then we stop transponders still have radio power. Right. So we'll shut things off, and kind of just like we troubleshoot it, we would shut off the fuel, turn the carburetor heat off, turn off the fuel pump, turn the magnetos off. Anything that could potentially create a spark for a fire, we're going to turn that off. But then we verify, let's go through the emergency landing without power check. Emergency landing without power, so we're uh, setting our airspeed for 60, we're adjusting the trim for that speed. Uh-huh. Safety harness tight. Then 
Flaps as necessary. Uh, radio call on 121.5. Set the transponder to 7700. Fuel selector's off. Ignition is off. And master switch. Off. Off. Good. Once we've got the flaps. Once we've got it in there, yep, everything's configured. Then we would open up the canopy just to have that as an egress if we had to get out of the cockpit. So we would just undo the latch. Right. Okay. So we have a way to get out. But and that's, those are things you're going to want to have memorized those those flow or that procedure, but then we always verify with the checklist. But we can remember, again, ABC, airspeed, best glide, best place to land, and then checklist. That's an easy way to, uh, to remember. And then for troubleshooting, check your fuel items, check your fire items, check your air.